But once that tank is ready, what I want to do as well is build a golden tank. What do you guys think? I want to add all these golden fish to it and try to get some more. So I would like some ideas. What happened? I'm trying to uh, feed this ray. I was trying to do it myself, but I couldn't do it. Well, this is uh, this is that guy that we've been uh, feeding the whole week already, and so, he's doing better. So what's happening? He came in really skinny, and he wasn't eating on his own. So what we're doing is uh, kind of force feeding him to help him get his energy level up. You gotta help me open his mouth. Okay, here we go. Come on, buddy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, it came back out. So what we're doing is we just want to get him a little food in him so that he can get energy. He's so weak he won't even poke you, huh? Yeah. So what I'm doing now is just making sure he doesn't spit it out. Because the last couple of times we did this, once we let him go, he spit it out. There we go. Okay, so it looks like that guy right there. It looks like he's not spitting. So how long more do you think you're having to do this? I think once he starts eating on his own, we'll be good. Because I fed these guys already, and then he didn't really come out to eat. Okay. So we're just going to keep doing this, and once I see him start eating on his own, then we're going to leave him alone. Let's say at home, people are home, and they have a stingray that's not eating. It's more of a, a, a difficult challenge, because you got to make sure you're not getting well, poked or yes. stressing the stingray. It's one of those things that I don't encourage people to do at home, because it's a little bit dangerous. You, you have to have two people, because one person has to control the ray, and the other person has to feed. Do you have other methods? Like, what if it's a last case you, scenario you, that they have yes, to save this if it's, if it's a very last case scenario, that's when I would attempt something like this. But if something that still has a lot of strength to them, I wouldn't want to mess with them because you can hurt the animal, number one. And number two is they can hurt you because if they have the energy to fight back, that ray didn't have the energy to fight back, so it's okay. Look, he's he's got some power on him because he's right from all the food that we've given him. We've been doing this for a couple of days already, so. It's getting there, but he's still not eating on his own yet. Yeah, you can see he's a little bit skinny, but we're not feeding too much either. We're just doing one exactly. at a time. You can see the pelvic bones on the back. The tail is is very thin. Another thing yeah. I noticed, his disc is coming around. So yes. he's healing up. He's healing up. Right Correct. there, you mm -hmm. see? The, he was so weak that the other rays started chewing on him, but I can see that he's already healing up. It was a combination. He was so weak and he got sucked in by the pump and it got damaged. And then the rays smelled the blood, started picking at it and then tearing it apart more. So what do you think is in your experience? Like, what is the chance of this guy making it out? I would say we're at 50-50. We're 50-50 We're 50-50, I think, yeah. Guys, well, it was at like 10% before. Yeah, pretty It weak. was upside down, it was all curled up, it was floating, it was everything. Since we did this one, I know that we have another wild ray to have and eating. You want to just try that one yes, too? Yes, um, I'm ready to do that one as well. Let me go get some more food. Now, right, just so you guys know at home, same thing. That wild ray has been here like two and a half weeks almost, right? Maybe three weeks already. Yeah. And we've tried everything that I could think of to get it to eat, but it won't eat. So I think we're at that point now that we got to try you know, something. Try something. And just so you can see, like we did sell the other ones that are doing well, they're eating, they, you know, all of them are quarantined and treated, but the ones that don't eat, we don't want to sell it and ship it to you guys because then it's going to die on you. So we rather take the loss here, deal with it here before we can ship it to you guys. What do you think is, is another method that they can do to feed a stingray? This video totally switched from golden <laughs> fish to, to saving a stingray. Well, I've seen other videos where vets would knock out the ray and then turn it over and feed it with um, a syringe of uh, some kind of paste that they would make with, um, it, it was connected to an airline tubing and they would shove the tubing at least past the, um, the esophagus and into the stomach, and then they would just press the whole tube in. That's what I did for Tank. I, I was uh, cooking soup and, and shoving the whole thing down his throat with the syringe. But in a case like this, we're not gonna knock out the ray because it's probably gonna stress it even more. Yes, yes, I don't like to do that. So let's let's see how this goes. Usually wild rays, it, it takes a little bit longer for them to eat, especially if they had a stressful shipment. This ray right here is a marble motoro. It came in super healthy. But we saw that he wasn't eating. It was just losing weight and getting slower and slower and slower. Now, this could be another problem. They could have a hook in them because a lot of times when they're caught, sometimes they swallow the hook, the fisherman will cut the line and that's it. You know, so the ray would just deteriorate from that. I actually seen a fish one time, it was a, a big peacock bass, poop, a whole hook. I don't know how it came out, but it came out. Have you seen that before? What? A stingray puke or poop, a whole hook? Yes, I, it's, it's, if you go back in my YouTube channel, like one of the very first videos, it was a, a Faulknerized Stingray that was pooping out a hook. 
and me and Oi had to take the fish, turn it over, and I used like uh, these pliers and grab the hook and pull it out of his anus. <laughs> it oh. was an experience. See, if you had an OnlyFans account back then, you could have made a lot of money on that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, that's one of the reasons why I don't really like wild rays, especially larger wild rays, because that's how they catch them. They catch them by hook. And uh, you just have to make sure that you don't get a bad one. That's it. Yeah. Did you say at one time when you're buying them to start your breeding project, you end up buying a, uh, a metal, detector. metal detector? Yeah, one of those like security metal, like those wands. And then we would scan the ray uh, to see. But I did that here, but eventually, obviously it doesn't make sense to do it here because the ray's already here. So then I started having the people in South America do it and scan it and show me in a video, scan, okay, it didn't beep, we're good but then they found other ways. They started using plastic hooks. <laughs> it's almost like those videos where you see it on Facebook where it's like, oh, is my teeth for real, right? And they get the little machine is like, eh, no fake. So it's pretty much the same way, but with live animals. Yeah, do they have dissolving hooks now? Somebody might've mentioned I, some of that to me once I before. I think they might. I, I'm not a big fisherman, so I don't really don't know. But you think this one has a hook in it? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so this one's gonna be a little more challenging because he's bigger, he's hook. I mean, he's his spike. Still is, got his stinger. We got yeah, his clip stinger it too. is pretty big. Uh, Let me go get this. So we're gonna have to figure out. You think you're gonna put a glove on and hold it? We'll see. Let me clip the stinger first. That's the motor. Mm -hmm. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Always protect. This one's not as weak, right? I don't know. I mean, it hasn't eaten in so many weeks. We'll see how much fight it's got left. Guys. You want to hold the tail for me? No. It's weak. I want to leave this in the tank, especially if you have other fish. And they, uh, they're they going to inhale it. It's right there. I know. Yo, bulk jump with it real quick. Oops. Well, you dropped it. See, you got nails. Let's see. So what hurts? It's not really the poking that hurts. No, so this this tip part won't hurt anymore because the skin is gone. You see how it's white? Yeah. It's the black stuff, the skin. When, if it goes into you, it has a neurotoxin on the skin that uh, reacts and uh, hurts like hell. All right, you ready? Yeah. This, see, this guy still has a little bit of fight in him. Well, I don't want him to whip his tail around him, but... Ooh, Fiji, Fiji. Ooh. You holding it? Go, dude, go, dude, go, dude. Open him up. You gotta go a little deeper, I'm going, okay? I'm going. He's okay. chewing out. Holy crap, I can't rub his mouth it. a little bit. No. Hey, when, I, when I put him in, that's when he's gonna shoot water. Would he bite my finger? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I spit oh it there out. you go. Mr. Oh. <laughs> I know what to do. Right? All right, John, you, you go this way. I can't. I'm holding on to the razor. No, I'm telling him to open it. Oh. They're stingray. Use your hand to open them. What the hell? Yeah, just. Oh. He took a fart? Yeah, out of his mouth. He's cancer. Hold on. Sorry. Come on, dude. Open your mouth. Why is he not opening? <laughs> this thing right. But if you don't open his mouth, I can't do it. Why is his mouth be, red over here? I'm holding on to him. Maybe that's where the hook got him when he was wild caught. There Come we go. on, dude. He's not opening his mouth. Well, I'm. You, you see how crazy this is? Me. We're trying. We're trying, but it's not that easy. It takes a lot of time and practice to get it all the way through. He destroyed his piece already, too. Good, right there. Okay, okay, I got it. See, what's your hand, what's your hand? I know, I'm, I have to hold it. Can you see, can you see? Just a little bit. Yeah. You see, you see how like when you pulled out, he, he gave that blast of water? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna not let him do that. Yeah, I, I have a feeling if we don't if we didn't do this today, he wouldn't last that much longer. Come on, 
don't don't spit, don't spit. That's not it. He's better. Oh, there, there. oh, mother! Alright, let's try a smaller beast then. So the, the goal here is to save this animal. Yeah. Just feel it. This is all messed up. We need a harder beast to go through. I think because it's so big, it's easier for him to push out. Alright, mm -hmm. last attempt. Because we've already stressed it out pretty good. So we want to give him some time to recover and then we'll try again tomorrow if, if, if this time doesn't work. But as you guys can see, like he hasn't even tried to sting yet. So that's how weak the ray is. Come on, bro. You open your mouth. Hold on. <laughs> oh my God, he's biting. I got it. I got it. He was like sucking on my. Oh, oh no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Let me go in deeper. Did you turn sideways? No. I don't. Okay. I went pretty deep this time. Come on, dude. That's not it, right? No, it's bigger. But I felt him like sucking on my thumb like that. See, look, he's sucking on my thumb. So he's trying to eat. No, he's trying to push. Oh. I feel like he's gonna push it out. Cool. I'm not giving him a chance to. Let's we'll see. Does it hurt when he bites? No. So guys, this one, he actually was able to hold it down. The goal now is every day we have to do that. And then as he start eating, we'll do more pieces per day. And then hopefully he'll start eating on his own. But you see how long it took. It's very stressful for the animal. Very stressful for people holding it as well because you can get both. Yeah, I was afraid I was gonna get hit, and then he was slippery. I'm trying to hold it, and you're pushing, so it's like. Yeah, and also I have to make sure that I'm not gonna damage him by going too far. You know? uh, the syringe might be a, another way. This is probably better for a little rays like that, which the syringe, you know, can get well, if in. We had something straighter. That maybe that will definitely help. Yeah. We're probably gonna do more videos on this guy on Kevin's channel. If you feel free to comment down below and let us know what you think. Um, again, we said there's other ways that you can do this, but this is what we had at the moment. And I think on situations like this, you just gotta use what you have to save the animal. As long as you're not hurting them. All right? All you got right. anything else to say, Fajay? No. Always remember to dispose of this properly. Okay? And protect yourself at all times. All See right. you guys next time.